Welcome to the presentation of landscape design of Southern Dhaka City area by Group 6. Let us see the study area profile we were working with and designing. The study area has been divided into five parts. In this place we have the Rajabhashkarjo in the top, the footpath of the TSC, the space in front of the TSC, and the open space in front of the Shoradu Dak. Moving on to the next location is the Tinnetar Majar located near the Dol Chotur. We can see what's the existing condition of the Tinnetar Majar is. Then there is the North Dhaka Gate near the Dol Chotur. We can see the existing condition and it's very poor and dirty. Moving on to the next location is the Dol Chotur and near to it is the South Dhaka Gate. And last but not the least is the Shohid Minar, located near the Dhaka Medical College. As we have seen from the top view of the existing conditions, now we will be seeing the design we made. At first, the TSC Chattor. Raju Bhaskarjo, existing as a landmark in the TSC Chattor, is a monumental statue for martyrs of the Freedom War. Separating it with the various spotlights, we try to bring out the emotions of the war through the use of colors on the spotlights. As we move to the footpath of the TSC, we can see there are shops located which is not much different from the existing condition. There is also playful shadows all over the place of the footpath. And now we will be seeing the space in front of the TSC building. There is a fountain located just near the exit and entrance. There is a television provided and a permanent stage for the political Shrek conferences it. held in this place. We can see the advertise. There are two more fountains for the people to have a natural breathing space. Now we will be moving towards the open space located in front of the Shoradu Dam. There is a fountain in the, middle, in the middle of it and there are benches for people to sit and enjoy their moments in the natural environment. Created with different trees like banana trees and mango trees and oak trees and there is shop also. Now we will be seeing the entire scene within a time lapse which will elaborate the descriptions of the lightings and other stuff. We see from sunrise to sunset and there is night for the lighting. As we can see the colors and contrast of the lights separate the Raju Vashkarjo from all the structures in front of it. We try to allocate as much as as light as possible. Now we will be seeing the Tinnetar Mazar, starting with the gates. The gate is as it was. Moving along the shaded pathway around the Tinnetar Mazar, we can have an elaborate description. There is a bridge in the sideways and there is an open space for people to walk and enjoy their refreshments. The water body gives a soothing, passive, cooling means. The landscape elements are designed in such a way that it creates an harmonical balance between the busy city life and the nature. We even provided kiosks for people to sit in under it. The lightings are done so that there is no problems of security or anything under 
like that, which is very prominent in Bangladesh. You can see the interesting view that is created due to the landscape designing. The fountains gives it a nice texture. Finally, we see through the time lapse the different lightings we did in order to make the place feel more secured. Sunrise and sunset are also included. This is the North Dhaka Gate. This is exactly beside the Tinnetar Mazar but is very neglected. We try to preserve the existing amount of greeneries but since it was very unplanned, so we cut off the unnecessary plants which were distracting the landscape. We made it so that it's like the human, at the level of the human eye, and the place is provided with benches and little bins and lights to enhance the total scenery. Due to the security purpose of the Bangladesh uh, of Bangladesh, we provided enough lights for people to walk around the park we designed, which makes the ultimate scenery of the view. Now we have the Doel Chotor and the South Dhaka Gate. We can see the Doel Chotor has been provided with fountains all over it, and there is spotlight, obviously, to el elaborate the landmark. The pathways are well lit, as we can see. The directional lights help the pathway to be more precise. Moving on, there is a children's playground, and as well as a fountain. We wanted to provide a model for the South Dhaka Gate, and it's about its origin in that place we saw. We wanted to give it a shape so that people may find it more historically attractive as well as visually attractive. The place at night will be more safe and secure than it is now, obviously. Finally, we have the Shohid Minar. Starting with the street view, there is a fountain near the streets and there is benches provided for people sitting and enjoying their time. There is a public space just at the backside of the Shohid Minar and there is a leading water streams along with wooden platforms so that the Shohid Minar is highlighted even more. The public space is provided with water drinking facilities as well as a fountain to give a landscape design so that people may enjoy the view from there. This is the back view of the Shohid Minar. As we can see there is a space which we provided for the Shohid Minar to stand at all without any distractions. This is the lighting of the Shohid Minar during the night. We, get, we are fast, fast forwarding so that it is able, it is as well as soothing and interesting for the viewers to see. Thank you.